Hi, my name is John Schultz. I've been making sundials of one sort or another for almost 30 years. I am now making my sundials out of copper and brass, copper being a very easy to work with metal as well as being able to be outside, which is what we need in the case of a sundial. I'm going to be discussing three different types of sundials that I make. This is called an armillary. On the armillary, there's two sets of numbers. The upper numbers are standard, so this would be reading a little bit after 1.30, standard time. The bottom numbers are daylight saving. This would be reading about a little after 2.30, daylight saving time. This, you see down here, is what most people think of when they think of a sundial. This is more the traditional flat style. The easiest way to deal with daylight saving time on this type of sundial is to just remember that it's standard time numbering and in your head at an hour. Uh, this is my version of what's called an equatorial sundial. This is one of the few types of sundials that are actually adjustable for daylight saving time because you can turn this ring without changing where it's pointing. You can simply change, just turn it an hour like you would your other clocks. Another aspect of the sundial is what happens to the shadow when the sun is high in the sky as opposed to being low in the sky. I'm going to simulate the sun getting lower in the sky by tilting this down. You'll notice there's a shadow beginning to creep into the picture which is now reaching the number ring. Notice how this shadow is moving up completely covering the number ring. That is what you would see at an equinox. The sun will then continue to get lower in the sky, the shadow gets higher, it reaches its peak at the first day of winter, and then begins traveling back down. If you'd like to learn more about my sundials, uh, visit my website. It's Schultz, S-H-U-L-T-Z, sundials.com. Thank you very much.